hello and welcome to this short video tutorial uh, to do with month end period close. Uh, one of the common problems, uh, if I just go to uh, talk about uh, the period close, uh, is that when you, you come to do your month end close in inventory, is that you have to uh, check first what transactions are pending and where records are stuck. It could be that they're stuck in various interfaces, uh, shipping might not be processed, or indeed material transactions are, aren't processed or are in error, <clears throat> trip stop errors, et cetera, et cetera. So if we stand on this, um, the period close uh, routine, so it, you know it's part of the standard menu here, and if I now click on pending, we get a list of uh, unprocessed material transactions, uncosted material, uh, pending, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, some receiving records haven't been done, and some of them are, are recommended, and some of them are absolutely required b before you can close the period. Um, so, you know, let, let's just say OK to that. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to use Blitz, uh, a Blitz report that's been created, uh, which will basically list all of the transactions uh, that are currently pending or, or need correction. Uh, and th this is really a way to optimize yeah, and speed up. And you can have this scheduled uh, on a daily basis so that you can keep on top of things rather than waiting till month end. But um, as, a, as somebody closing the period, uh, rather than having to reach out to support and getting them to go through or going through each table yourself and each form to check for stuck transactions, you can simply run uh, the inventory period end uh, blitz report, which we've created for you. Um, and this is added to, uh, uh, to the menu here using uh, standard forms personalization. Uh, and I'm just going to run it. You can run it by period, or you can indeed run uh, different transactions, uh, different types of transaction types, uh, and so on. Um, the queries used here are really lifted from the standard Oracle support queries. Uh, and it's a list of uh, basically it goes through and it uh, it checks all the transactions. So what we've done here in, in Enginatics is we've um, put them all together into a single query um, so that you know it's all in one place uh, and then simply uh, we've run them together through Union uh, and then you can uh, look at the output in a very nice Excel format. So let me just run that. It goes through the concurrent manager and it will generate um, an Excel file. Uh, with perfectly formatted uh, text, uh, so, it, so it's, it's calling through the concurrent manager. Um, this is not a new concurrent program, so once you've installed uh, Blitz Report, uh, then you have this capability anyway. Uh, and as a developer of the reports, uh, um, for example, Blitz comes with a number of reports anyway, uh, and this one could be included with the Blitz uh, Report license, um, indeed. So. As I said, we've got the report. It, it ran through in seconds. There was no um, no delay or anything. Some of these, are, because this is a vision uh, database, some of these are quite old, obviously. Um, and I didn't apply a period because I wanted to give you the volume of transactions so you can see all the different counts. And you see here we've got incomplete works orders, pending receipts, uh, uncosted material, unprocessed shipping. Uh, unprocessed material transactions, etc. And you could indeed, you could add uh, more complexity to the report, uh, giving you different information. For example, trip stop, you might want to bring in the account information, and we can help you, or, or we, we can help you create that that uh, SQL if you need uh, some assistance. But these are relatively straightforward. Uh, most of them are available on the Oracle support forum. Um, so let's just go back and just see how I did that. So just, just to remind ourselves, um, <clears throat> we stood in the period close form. Uh, we go to actions, we run inventory close, and uh, then we can simply add our uh, transactions, uh, you know, our, our period name, we can add transaction type. Um, and if we look at the setup, I'll just show you how the parameters look. So from a parameter viewpoint, they're very straightforward to create here. I created one called period name. Uh, you could equally use, um, and I'll just show you, for example, transaction type. Um, so for example, if we click into this, we can call in um, other uh, parameters used on other reports. So we haven't had to create them. So if I just said transaction type, you see here we've, we've got um, all the different transaction types. Here's some from accounts receivable, these ones are coming in from inventory. So this would be the best one to choose. And 
there's a parameter added. So that's that's as much development as you need to do. Very straightforward uh, to, to do. Um, from an assignment viewpoint, um, I've assigned this to inventory, but you can assign it to individual users. You may not want all your users having it, so it's got security. We've got version control as well on, on the, the SQL. So um, if you're moving or if you're developing reports, um, then you'll get uh, to see what the SQL is in here. And it's all working on double click, which is a really nifty feature. And you can see here, we've, we can tell whether or not uh, our query has been changed. So from a change control, uh, we've got that covered. Um, from a user perspective, uh, we can categorize as well. So that makes things easier to, to find. Uh, and I'm just gonna run that one again. Uh, and I'll show you the impact of adding a new parameter. So as you can see, we've got the transaction type. Now in terms of uh, how I added this to the menu, I'll just show you how we did that. Um, so it's a question of coming up here um, into uh, personalization. And you see here I've added, uh, this is really a, a few minutes set up, I just added an XX Blitz menu. Um, and we're calling a special menu uh, called inventory period end. I gave it that title. Uh, that there's the label and if we look at the function again it's quite straightforward we link the special form 40 uh, and then we take the action uh, to launch uh, blitz report uh, but if you didn't want to do this step you could just leave this uh, without this and then just simply run it from uh, the main menu so for example you have it on your top 10 list and uh, you could then run it from here so and again if you're looking for reports you just come in here and you can uh, simply find the reports you want so all of these reports are included with the blitz license some of these are coming in from bi publishers so we you've got the ability to bring in all your uh, standard um, bi reports which are you know derived by oracle or developed by oracle um, they need they may need a little bit of work depending on how they've been done by Oracle, but again, we can uh, coach you through that process. Um, so you've got everything that you need. It goes straight into Excel, perfectly formatted, and they run literally within seconds. There's no limit to the data size. Um, so, you know, I would encourage you to install uh, the Blitz license. Uh, and, you know, this is just one of many applications you can use. Um, I've created a num number of blogs and short videos on the Enginatics uh, YouTube channel. Um, on the enginatics.com page, if you look at uh, the resource link, you'll see uh, all of these different blogs, which will describe how, how you do this yourself. Uh, once you take uh, the and download the, the Blitz uh, report tool. Uh, and again, we can help you with demonstration and getting it installed. It's literally um, 30 minutes max to, to install Blitz and it's fully incorporated with the concurrent manager uh, and all the rest of the form functions you would expect. Uh, it gives, you know, the same look and feel. So that that's really the end of this. That's, that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, and uh, no doubt, uh, please do get in touch if, if you need any help.